We are on page 96 of your little atheist yes. book. I know I read this to you yesterday, but I'm going to read it again for those at home. Uh, so the, the chapter is, What Did Jesus Teach About the Bible? The main idea is Jesus taught that the Jewish Old Testament is the infallible and indestructible word of God and affirmed by affirmed that uh, and affirmed that his apostles would complete the rest of God's word. Um, and then this is where we've been in our uh, logical argument. Uh, point seven is the New Testament uh, says Jesus claimed to be God. Eight, Jesus claimed to be God was miraculously confirmed by his fulfillment of many prophecies of, of himself, as his sinless life and miraculous deeds, his prediction and accomplishment of his resurrection. Therefore, Jesus is God. Whoever Jesus, who is God, teaches is true. Jesus taught that the Bible is the word of God. Therefore, it is true that the Bible is the word of God, and anything opposed to it is false. This is a, a valid logical argument. Uh, if, if seven is true, then eight must be true. If eight is true, nine must be true, and, and, and so forth. Um, the, the question is, is it true? If, if, uh, are all of these premises true? If all of these premises are true, then the, conclusion, uh, the conclusions within it uh, are, are all true. So, in bold in the number one, uh, why does it matter what Jesus taught about the Jewish Old Testament? I think that's where we left off. Yes. Doesn't like everything matters. So you wouldn't want to be miss a single thing you said about it. Just like everything else he said. And so Jesus is God, right? Yeah. And and if if he's also correct in saying he is the only way to heaven. Then you absolutely yes. Shouldn't our ears, you know, prick up on when we, uh, you know, hear something? Uh, so yeah, Jesus is the incarnate Son of God, um, and so He would know. Uh, he would know if the Old Testament is authoritative, uh, and He would know if the disciples were going to go on to write um, the New Testament, at least largely write uh, the New Testament. Uh, and, and so um, even, even silence from Jesus on this topic of is the Old Testament also reliable um, would be, and the word I used, I, I don't mean it as a customer, but would be damning to the Old Testament. Uh, it, would, it would make the Old Testament um, valid uh, or, or at least unreliable. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Jesus' seal of approval over the Old Testament is very important. Uh, describe what Jesus taught about the nature of the Old Testament. It's true. Okay, he taught that it's true. What else did he teach? Yes. Arthritic, <laughs> yes. Uh, divinely authoritative. Yeah, divinely authoritative. What does that mean? From God. Right. It, 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 it is from God. Uh, what else did he teach? The whole lot. Well, this is about the Bible as a whole. But, but it, I would say that he teaches that he fulfills the law. Yes. Like, he didn't have to destroy the Old Testament or the law, but he didn't have to add on to it. Right. Yeah. He, he wasn't saying we're going to get rid of the Old Testament. He was sleeping. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he fulfilled it. Uh, and, and I think we can also see um, what Jesus thought about, uh, about the Old Testament. Uh, when he was confronted by Satan, what did he quote? In the scripture. And at that time, scripture was what we call the Old Testament. Yes. Uh, I forgot to grab chapter 14 from there. Uh, last week. Yeah. Bro. Thank you. Um, by the way, um, <clears throat> So number two, number three, we're just going to go through number three and then I'm going to cut you loose for 
Uh, how do you know the various events referred to in the Old Testament by Jesus are true? Yeah. He's God. If you would know, right? Uh, he is the pre-existent Christ. He was there for all of it. So he would know. Any questions? Excellent. Okay, so now you're going to uh, read pages uh, 363 to 370 and do the clip 138. I'll write that on the board. That's your, that's your homework if you don't get it done. 